Hello, my very most beautiful Virgos. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your February bonus reading. And this reading is going to be all about the person on your mind. So whoever you're thinking about, that's who this reading is intended for. Now, it is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So if you guys want something that is meant for your exact energy, I do have personals open. And everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is going to be in the description box below for you. So Archangel, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding from my most beautiful Virgos. Please, may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Virgos energy. A very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my lovelies, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. It was my fault, but I blamed you. I always think that that is such a powerful statement, um, especially when it comes out first. It just kind of like hits you. It was my fault, but I blamed you. So definitely somebody who kind of flips things around or can't, couldn't, you know, isn't capable of taking responsibility. You know, it's like something happens and you try to talk to them and they're like, no, well, it's because you did this or you did that, you know, that kind of an energy. I knew exactly what I was doing. So... Yeah, a very stubborn energy. Somebody who has a hard time admitting when they're wrong. Somebody who really doesn't take responsibility for their stuff, but on a very deep level, um, they do know. You know, they do know. Even if they play ignorant to it. I am not available. And I wish I had treated you better. So this could be somebody who's, and this is not going to be for everybody, guys. So don't, you know, if this one little part doesn't fit, you know, just leave that part for somebody else. You know, this is obviously not going to be for everybody. I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. For some of you guys, this person could be um, already in another connection, okay? They could have already been, they could already be in another connection with this I am not available. But this is definitely somebody here who... I do feel like has put a lot of work in into themselves. Somebody who's really, you know, grown as a person, grown mentally, emotionally, spiritually, all of that. Um, and who's now like kind of looking back and seeing, you know, the kind of the things that they've done and the people that they have hurt, the people that they have kind of damaged in, you know, while they were in that state, okay, while they were, you know, like that. So it's kind of to me that this person's you know, really been thinking about you, really been reflecting on you know the way that they treated you and having a lot of regrets, wishing that they would have done things differently, knowing that you deserve a lot better, knowing you deserve to be treated better. Let's take a look and see. We're going to go ahead and get a look at their headspace, their heart space, their true intentions, and their actions. Maybe if I can hold on to some of these. Yeah, this fell on top of it too. Some of them could be married now. That doesn't have to be, but that could be the case. The hair font is also about lessons. So it is about learning lessons and, you know, obtaining a new level, going to a new level. So especially with it falling out on top of the I am grateful um, for the spiritual lessons. I do. I feel like there's something about you. Um, and about, you know, especially about you, especially if you are, very, you are a very spiritual person. That could have activated this person, like really... Um, you know, really helped them get to where they are, you know, heal and become that person that they could be. Let's take a look. Show me this person's headspace. What are their thoughts towards Virgo? What are their thoughts when it comes to Virgo? What are their thoughts? Six of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. So with this energy, it's like, I do feel like their things have shifted. Things have really um, really turned around for this person and I do feel like they accredit a lot of that to you it's like um, you know I wouldn't be able to be here I wouldn't have gotten through everything that I did if it wasn't for you I wouldn't be this person that I am if it wasn't for you you know kind of giving you the credit where it's due whether it's to you or not you know even if it's just admitting it to themselves you know I do feel like they know that they wouldn't have been able to get through some of the things that they've gotten through in their life if it wasn't for you okay um it's like you've really helped them I'm really drawn to like the books okay like it's like these people have learned a lot of lessons and it's really shifted them and I think that you taught them a lot they learned a lot from you I do feel like there there's something here where the five comes right before the six so it's like they want to move out of that conflict with you some of them could be wanting to make amends okay with that energy as well let's take a look at what's going on in their heart space show me what's going on in this person's heart space the devil or the death card was just there so i do feel like 
um, you know, major transformation for this person. They got the magician here. Give me one more for their heart space. Give me one more, please. And the ten of wands. So I do feel like whatever happened between the two of you, um, it's still the way that they treated you. You know, I do feel like they really worry about how it has affected you. Okay, they're like, wow, I've gotten so much and I've gotten through this and I've learned this and I've become a better person because of Virgo. But I hope that I didn't, what I did to them and how I treated them, you know, I hope it didn't affect them too much. You know, I, I feel like they worry about, you know, long-term effects. I also feel like they do, it, they carry that around with them. Okay, I do feel like with this energy here, this, Wheel of Fortune, especially with the Magician energy showing up as well. I do really feel like this person does want to make amends with you. They want to make things right. Um, it really weighs on them, that Ten of Wands energy. Okay, so the what they have done, how they treated you, you know, all of that really weighs on them. Let's see what else just flipped around. Yeah, the Five of Swords, really looking back at the past. Like I said, we just said we got the Five of Swords and we're coming out of that. They know that they wouldn't have been able to without you. I do. I feel like this person has a lot of regrets, a lot of remorse. I do feel like they look back at the past and they think about you all the time. Okay, and I feel like what they've done to you really weighs on them what are their true intentions what are their true intentions towards virgo to a cup so this could be positive communication okay this could definitely be making amends here um, with this energy we, th th there is a staff of hermes on here which is the god of communication so when it's in the airport sometimes this can be a very positive conversation you know it can be like a very positive exchange um, I also really do feel like with this being there for some of you guys, if they're not in a connection, if that's not their story, you know, they could still have, they could still harbor a lot of feelings for you. Okay. And they could definitely want to make things right here. Give me one more for their true intentions. What are their true intentions? I guess we're getting two more than nine of wands. So they definitely, they definitely have not, um, let this go. Nine of wands and the world card in the reverse. This still feels very open to them. It's like, they know that, 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 something has to be done here like things have been left unsaid they don't like the way that things have um are between the two of you they don't like the way that things left off you know they're still really holding on to this i do really feel like some of you guys could be hearing from this person soon um an apology or something of that nature you know because they're, they're just really bothered by the fact that things still feel um things still feel open they feel unfinished here okay and you know like i said the weight of what they've done here really weighs on them what action will this person be taking? Any actions that this person may be taking towards Virgo, please? Any actions that this person may be taking? The Nine of Pentacles. The Temperance card. Okay, for a very select few of you, um, some of them that are in another connection um, that don't want to be, they know that they have to be single to approach you. And whether that's because it would bother their significant other now um, or whether it's just they want to be a little bit more than friends. I also feel like that because we have right under this, I'm grateful for the spiritual lessons we have. I want to be more than friends. Now, keep in mind that this is a general reading, so this is not going to resonate for all of you. Um, but for those of you where that their person is maybe with somebody else, you know, they know that they would have to move out of that in order to approach you okay because this can be a card of patience it can also be a card of like transforming so they know that they would have to be single so they could be or you know some of you guys you could be in a connection and they could be patiently waiting for you to get single um, so just take that how it resonates um that could very well be the case too with this i'm not available they could be wanting to reach out they could be wanting to apologize things still feel very open they want to make things right um, they could be patiently waiting for you to get single here too so just take that how it resonates let's get one more the Ace of Pentacles, yeah. Um, so at the very least, I feel like they want to apologize. Um, for others of you, you know, they're waiting for you to get single or waiting for them to get single. Um, but that is what I see here. Um, if this resonates, guys, let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is going to be in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. But most importantly, guys, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, go ahead and put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light. Until next time.